Okay. Right, so we're plot two. We're thinking about the game. What do we mean? Uh, Elise, anything else? Yeah. yeah, up until a bit ago, not too long ago, I was focusing mostly on Elise, but now I'm diversifying a bit. So going into Vi, Kane, uh, playing a bit of a Moomoo in there for the tankiness and the aerial effect, crowd control, all that, because I prefer a Moomoo over a Nunu for some reason. Um, yeah, okay. And... I think that's mostly it. Some Echo as well, but I'm not going too much into that. I mean, the, the, the thing is, Echo's going on a little bit of a resurgence um, at the moment. Uh, he never stopped really being good. It's just that the kind of matchups in the, in the jungle really um, made it more I difficult usually, for him to get away with it, right? So, yeah, I usually tend to think about Echo a bit more when I'm thinking about scaling when I have like a castle in mid or something, because I know with Elise, I tend to go a bit... Um, I tend to fight in the river, and I know that's not going to go well with Castle. And with Echo, I'm going to avoid that a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got you got to scale, but at the same time, if you get a couple of early stacks, if you <laughs> get a few kills early true, true. as e Echo, it's it's the game's over. So, yeah. right. So I'm assuming we're doing the classic um, buff buff romp. Yes, we are. Very I want to do buff romp because uh, I want to try to gank, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, let's see. I mean, Jax, of course, is good, but getting here, and this is what I was talking about um, in in the Roots video today, everyone, when I basically listed almost every root in the game. This is so big because you arrive at 245. They're not level two. Uh, the thing is, of course, your Camille is not level three, so she doesn't have a hook shot. Yeah. And I feel like this is so big. So let's just see. You should be able to get the kill anyway with your CC. Wait out his uh, dodge. Just order for the slows. Yeah, I mean, this is free. He doesn't even have to do anything. He knows he's dead. Kick W. <laughs> All right. The cocoon went a I little don't even know. sideways. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, I was expecting him to flash or something. Okay. So the thing is, okay. So the next level for you, um, uh, you know, the diamond threshold. We talked about a mumu. Now let me tell you about a mumu. A mumu for me is free kills. Mm. Uh, as Elise, yeah, yeah, as volley, obviously. free kills. So I feel like if you're playing it in this MMR, yes, can you 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 can win. It's it's it's, it's game changing. Old platinum junglers won't always giga invade you and make your life horrible. You'll be free to get level six and uh, then destroy with a bit of AP in, in your itemization, right? Um, but yeah, this is what I was talking about. Very good. Okay, we know Kane straight up. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So for me, we we straight up gotta. I mean, it's a two sample size, but. I think I I missed some I missed some some ease in the beginning, but then I started actually going for them. Had some pretty awkward ganks in the bot lane early game. Did we get away here? Okay. Right. So. So. Uh. Yes. Very good. But mid lane's missing, and you have an Ezra mid lane. Oh, this champion. I hate it when it's on my team. I hate it when it's against me. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> Just <laughs> screw this champion. All right, I'm going to keep it monetizable for YouTube, but screw this champion. Um, <laughs> so here we got to be very, very careful because your 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 Camille is is going back. Um, your mid lane shoved in. He shows coming down. So I feel like the fact that you get it is great, and the fact that you are able to outplay the situation like that's a very good repel. All right, that's a very very good repel. We didn't look at runes, but uh, let's see. You got water walking right there. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So you got scuttle plus water walking. Bye bye. Okay. So scuttle. Still in blue, first blood top lane, uh, flash from Kane, flash from Jax, flash from Ari, plus ignite, huge, very good, but still a little bit risky. It relied on your mechanical outplay, which is great. I mean, obviously it's a big difference, but we should go bottom crab now. Can we see him on the on the on the on the Grom? So what do you what are you processing right now in terms of your game plans? Obviously your heart's racing a little bit quickly there. You didn't die, but overall we're happy. What do we want to do now based upon what we've seen from the Kane? Um. Well, usually I I just I I just take crab, but I know because I play Kane and then because there's the CS that the only thing that's up is the Krugs. Yeah. Obviously, he goes for a red. He has the red, and he he takes the actors um, fast. So I know if there's that count, he's gonna have them. So what I'm thinking about because I saw Kane top is ganking bot after because they're in this position, and I do that and miss the cocoon again, and I just let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think. I think... No, actually, don't. Actually, this is the awkward part. Oh, it's, it's... okay. So, let me, let, okay. Before we get to the okay, so you're saying there's something awkward. So, let me focus on what I think is possible here. 
you know this guy always does a full clear. Now, full clearing junglers, general Twitch chat for you if you play, you said you play Moon with some full clearing junglers. Actually, I mean, you don't really want to, but you can. Um, pathing to the same side as an Elise is stupid. Pathing to the same side as a Volibear is stupid because she's going to invade, she will steal, you're not going to have a fun time. Because of this ward, this is a very good ward, and this is why I like that you didn't go back to get Scanner, because... Yes, it's great for early ganks to scan and see if it's warded, but at the same time, what's the likelihood in this MMR that it is? Very low. But however, this ward here gives you so much tracking information because people don't pay attention to it. I feel like here, we would have had a better opportunity to gank if, one, you know straight up this is up, right? So we can just repel over the wall. Don't need the plant. Repel over the wall. Sure. Take this level 4 camp away from him. Like, take everything, right? Big medium all the other mediums take, absorb it in full really suck it like blood like like fiddlestick sucks and now because they have no vision okay of this 100 percent, you could even hit this if you wanted to this plant um you'd have a much better angle to get off a cocoon not only do you steal his tier two krugs you double scuttled him got first blood and would 100 percent get flashes and maybe even a kill when you gank from this angle Versus walking straight down the river. That's what I'm thinking. I feel like you have a problem. Also... You know, what do you, what do you think? I wanted to focus bot here a lot because I actually knew that the, these two guys were smurfing because I had them in, on my team two games before this one. The Lucian and Braum or the Draven? No, the Draven and, and Nautilus, and I wanted to shut down the Draven. Okay, the early game. Even more. Um, even so, more so. so then. I went there a bit more. No, that, that's good. Um, at the same time, uh, what I find is when you've got a lane that's, that's smurfing, by camping it, it, they, they won't, it won't matter, right? They, they can straight up take control of this game even if you gank them a few times. But if everyone else in the game is fed, they can't do anything. Because, I mean, it's good to gank the lane, I agree with you. But it's, at the same time, I don't think you should compromise your own jungle strategy or game plan to overly focus on the lane rather than simply taking this guy out of it. I mean, this is great. For me, my jungling style is very on map control and removing the enemy jungler from existence. And it's very satisfying. Because from there, you can control lanes a bit more with nice ganking angles. And I feel like if they are smurfing, this is really obvious for them, right? And he's just got, I mean, you missed it, but he's got speed up. I don't think you're gonna hit it anyway. I mean, and if you were gonna hit it, if he's smurfing, he flashes. So from here, you know, what's better? Taking the uh, Krugs, just, yeah. <laughs> denying Kane hugely. Uh, by the time you've done that, this wave, you need, you'd have to assess what the wave is, obviously. But you've got a Braum, so the Braum could easily just W Q and then start igniting. You join in. Once the Braum passive gets ignited on the Draven, you cocoon him, chain CC, he dies. Uh, no matter what. And obviously the Nautilus will do his thing, so they have to, you'll have to outplay it with your Repel. But I feel like that's a better gank. And... Gets the same objective you wanted done while also screwing this guy. Um, and now you said this is the awkward bit. Okay, so let's see. I'm guessing you wait. Yeah, I just stay over. Yeah, I stay over for for a bit, and I do the same thing like twenty. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's cool. It's, it's cool weather where you live, or hot at the moment. It seems like it's a bit cool out there. Yeah, the it's cool for me too. Yeah. I mean, my wife's Romanian, so she, she, her family was like, yeah, it's very cold, and it was really hot here in Belgium, and then we got the cool weather. Ah, finally, something happens. <laughs> so if I can do this with you when we're coaching, you got to reach this, like, this is what you could do, do in your head. Can I have a conversation with someone and ignore the game? And if the answer is yes, maybe you're waiting too long. Um, and the, the thing for me is, this is amazing if, on one condition, you burn the flash and heal from this first gank. Yeah. That's the only time you could afford to, and even then, I wouldn't wait in this bush. I would loop around again. Because um, I didn't have any words. You don't know 100% if they do or don't, but you would look because you don't have a scanner, but you would know very clearly by their behavior if you looped around again because they don't have flash or heal now. So I feel like this is a great game plan, um, but the diamond four, diamond three jungler in you that wants to get there would have not only counter jungled him, but done it with a bit more fluidity. And keeping yourself busy rather than talking about the weather. Staying there, yeah. yeah, yeah.
And what, 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 what do we talk about a lot? What did I talk about? I mean, okay, I don't. That sounds way too teachery. <laughs> what I talked about in the um, in the in the old style of junglers video a few weeks ago was carnivore junglers such as Elise failed ganks yeah, and wasted so time cool. ganking. Yeah, it's suff It's so bad for you because this guy now think... will get everything. Right? Sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's okay. I was cutting you off. I I feel like I suffer a bit too much with Elise with the farming early game. Because um, solo camps is fine, Grump, Grump is fine, Wolves is fine, but top side is a bit. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, yeah, it, it takes it's... too much time. Yeah, you, you need, you need, you need, um, you need to get your jungle item and you know maybe an amp tomes to make it really then, easy. And then, yeah, exactly. I agree. So for me, there's this. Okay, so two things. Um, obviously we talked about kind of jungling him here, ganking this angle, perhaps looping around to get a secondary gank. I think 100% you at least get one kill because despite all of the wasted time. You still almost kill the Nautilus, so that's good. Um, after that, or between that, based upon what you did do, after the first gank fails, I don't think waiting around in that bush is very good at all. I feel like I would wait for them to push up with the next wave and immediately go down around the tri bush to try to get it. Obviously, with Nautilus, it's risky, right? If he hooks you, you're screwed. So your your lane would have to be in the right position. Otherwise, what we could have done is simply said, "Okay, gank failed." Let's fall back, take our tier 2 Grump, very important that we get the tier 2 edge camp off the map. And then we can clear our wolves, we can reset, and then you can do your wolves raptors, and then be in this place for the scuttle anyway. Except the difference is, you've got tier 2 Grump, you've got wolves under your belt, maybe you have a control ward, you know. Um, your Camille's taking advantage of your early pressure and killing the jacks. This, for me, I don't know how many Camille's you have in your game, but when you have a smurf Camille, it's very demoralizing because... <laughs> She's so snowball at the moment. I think people. I made a video about mobilitics and I focused on her very specifically because I think I thought she was just really underrated. And I think people are starting to realize how disgusting she can be when ahead. Um, but uh, I mean, so far that's fine. Ah, oh. Jax is ditching. Actually, what I what I want to do here because um, as I said I know I know there's more. There, uh, Raven can do stuff because I've seen it two games prior. So I actually just wanted this game to be. In a checkmate position, yeah, early, okay, um, and that's what I started doing at some point. I think I remember from it. I destroy their whole bot lane and a lot of it at some point. But then I started not being able to get my team to stop stalling, and well, that, basically that's... the Draven was just farming. Well, that's the exact issue with Rex size, and at least and honestly, I don't even like playing Rex. I I prefer playing Volibear with the same style because at least at that point, um, I, I feel I have much better teamfight presence than a, than a Rek'Sai. So if a game does stall out too long, at least I'm a giant tanky bear that can do things. In your yeah. case here, um, all of this is good. I would have hit this plant though. Because look at their vision. Yeah. This, no. is, this is your fault, no, 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 yeah. right? This is your fault. <laughs> because of your ganks. So... Uh, I feel like hitting the vision here is very important. But let me see. You're obviously waiting for the lane to be in a good position, and so you can just walk in with water walking. So let's see. Like they're pinging it. They saw you. Oh, this is you, you, I, okay, okay, okay. This is yeah. fine. Ezreal just wants the assist. Okay. But again, while you're doing this, he's gonna be cycling experience. Cycling. Yeah. So the fact that you have one CS is a tribute to you and, and also, you know, he's not doing a good job. Because you've wasted a lot of time and you're up as CS. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> uh, I made an Elise video in January. Gank, invade, and I canceled out the farming. Now, at the time, it was a good idea because experience was worth literally nothing. It was like um, Zimbabwean dollars. But... Now I feel like, no way. Okay, Kane, thanks, bro. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Okay, good. Not good. <laughs> Not good. Too much vision. So so way too much vision. Yeah. You know, I understand what you're trying to do. 
Um, but the, the days of, of river control and just spam ganking lanes like this is it's gone. You, you have to be cycling camps in between, you have to be counter jungling. And if you're doing what you're doing while ignoring your camps while taking his, it's fine. But... If, if nothing which means. Like, you get this because he ints. Right? If, if In theory, in theory, as Kane, you want to give it up. As theory, as Nautilus, you want to give it up because Draven's here and she hasn't started rotating. Um, the reason you end up losing this is just purely because... Um, Resources available and focus. I think if I'm you, I think if I'm you, maybe it's better just to save that cocoon. What do you think? Like, you know Draven's coming back. You know he's coming back, right? So, I know you want the Nautilus, but it, it, it would be a lot of discipline to say, you know what? It's okay if he <laughs> is low, but as long as I cocoon the Draven, we can actually win it. It's a benefit of hindsight, obviously. I mean, yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that's not good. Good to think about that now because yeah, it's easy to think about now but that, that's the whole point of micro mechanics right it's about making that macro making that micro decision in that exact why is everyone sitting here on the steps people on the steps let's save our time i don't know why why it stayed that long everyone does i think you're looking at atomization i don't know waiting maybe you're waiting for control we actually didn't time it he might have been waiting for a few extra golds so he's he's playing really badly he's not sequencing properly this is definitely not karis mike can't confirm um <laughs> He also wants to go blue cane, uh, which is a good idea. Okay, wh where do we want to go? Because now it's 10 minutes, you're level 6, so is Kane. So both junglers are, like, you have 4 kills, but, you know, I think 2 of them are because of ill-advised plays by the enemy rather than sort of um, yeah. sage Not and elevated plays by you. So now what do you want to do? Correct, now I do want to head around to bot again, mostly because I'm a bit afraid of being spotted on the top side and and letting go of that Drake. So I, I so, do I I know I know I know I have more optimization so I know I win fights in the bot lane. I mean to take Dragon after going for top side more. Just think he's there as well. <laughs> this game is disgusting. Now we can do Dragon, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, off the bat, you probably aren't looking to go straight to bottom side because of the Herald and Red. Um, but this is because of uh, the death earlier. So we should have no Dragon on the map currently. Exactly. With no Dragon on the map currently, it's very easy to go into your Red, straight into the, the Crab, into the uh, Herald. From there, you can look to use it. Uh, you don't need to use the top. You can use it on mid in a bit. You don't have to rush it. You can clear down and then gank bottom lane again getting prior for the second dragon. Unfortunately, this dragon's still up, so I think... Okay, you know, that, that that's good. It was a good reactive play, all right? You, you were reading it as you're walking down the lane. You saw the, the cane and the fight develop, so it's, it's a good reactive play. Um, we really are spam ganking this lane, aren't we? Oh, in position, man. Okay. No, yeah, I'm not going to complain about that. Spam ganking works, but not... But now we have to farm. Now we have to farm, right? Now you gotta sequence up. So the spam ganking is good, but now we gotta sequence up. I don't I don't think you're looking to contest. I think you're just looking to farm. Do you get this even? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think. True. You know, it's very difficult, Mr. Kane, for me to coach when you're doing such stupid things. <laughs> like, okay, so like, by all stretches of logic, it most likely he's on the Herald. So you could easily sequence up, walk on, hit this, um, and take it, right? That, that, that's good. Um, if you're going to do it, do it. There's a little bit too much hesitation for me. So if you're going to say, right, I think he's on Herald, let me go and contest, steal it, or fight over it, it's good. Just remember that you, you have 1,200 in the pocket, um, and you have shut down Gold Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, exactly. So... Yeah. I mean, okay, the move is good, it's just a little bit waffly. And also, it's hysterical that you get this. Like, I'm... You're not... I don't know, what are you thinking about, Harold? What are you thinking about? Because it seems you're a bit I indecisive. Was, I was thinking about it. I was just... Um, think at first I was avoiding Envision. You saw this, yeah. You saw this and as then, well. And then I have this one. Um, but okay. yeah, I'm trying to... I know I'm pretty low, so I know I'm at risk, but I 
wanna see it, which is stupid because I don't use the uh, the cone. Not the cone, the uh... save. Yeah, save your cocoon. If you save your cocoon, maybe you probably live. Yeah, I'll, I'd probably kill him here. Yeah, you, you kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Okay, so for me, basically, the read is good. Um, as we said, sequence up, so that's all nice. Anticipating him on the Herald, you could just walk in and do this, but do it very deliberately. Um, and maybe you get there. You're, you're lucky, huh? You're, you're a little bit lucky. So much waffling in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, don't don't cocoon this. Cocoon afterwards. N now you cocoon? Um, you might even still die because of his Q going through. It would still go through. The first proc. Either way. A little bit of luck, a little bit of good strategy. Um... Okay, overall it's pretty good. There's a... There was a Smurf release. There was a Smurf release that someone sent me in one of their games recently with like a 90% win rate. Um, and her pathing and farming cadence with ganking was supreme. I will DM you that Spook. afterwards. So you can look at the IGN. I don't know if they've been playing recently. I don't know who it is. It's definitely a Grandmaster Smurf um, doing with a top laner. But their pathing was exemplary. Always in the sides. Um, uh, and, and clearing camps efficiently as well. So I think that would be something good for you because you've got to spam Genki down. Like, all of this is very good. It's good body language reads, right? But we really need to go to practice tool and practice our cocoons. Jesus. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's a bad game. I'm not going to say it's like this all the time, but uh, be honest with then, yourself, right? Uh, no, there's games when I don't fail one. There's other games when I don't, don't hit one. Like this one. Good? Yeah, at some, po at some point I start hitting them all. Good, this is good though. It's, this is... it's not right now. No, like, you know, I mean, the little things you're talking about where I'm saying, okay, you could go do this, you could go do that. I mean, this this works very well if it works, right? The only thing is, if it doesn't, if it doesn't... high punishment. High punishment, punishment, yeah. But again, the cane doesn't look like he has hands, so I, I don't, I know. For example, if, if I was playing Evelyn this game, I, I'm love I'm loving it to quite a degree because I would have rinsed my jungle like four times already, and as soon as you show anywhere else, um, uh, that's the free kills with the um, with her camo and ultimate, you know, like like a farming jungle at this point, you've made some great moves, but should definitely be uh, further ahead than the cane is. So this that's forces a, that's a problem I always have is uh, level advantage. I never seem to get in level. Oh, you never seem to get ahead in level, or the enemy jungle just gets ahead of you? I never... I, I seem to... Well, lately, to be honest, in these past games when I started actually thinking about it, um, I've been getting ahead. But usually I just... I, I, I start getting behind, and then mid-game I, I get even. Yeah. Well, if your mid game is like this every game, where you at least okay, so let's say the cane, you know, let's say you have dragon and, and herald control, you should always be ahead. Um, and I like that you're setting traps, you're denying pressure, it's good. But during the downtime now is when we gotta go clear our own camps. You know, you gotta reward yourself by saying, okay, I gotta go pick my own tomatoes. You know, I've I've, I've gotta go tend to my own garden. I've stolen next door neighbor's farm. Now I need to go take mine. Um, like you gotta, you gotta at some point say like, "This is great," but it's Ari with flash and ult. So why, you know? <laughs> Twitch chat. Shh. <laughs> he, he. I bet you he makes all his cocoons in the next game. Um. So, <laughs> so like, this is again good. Uh, let's see what is this level seven. So, okay. So here's here's a thought. Now it's good to take this, right? It's good to take this, but it's level seven. And if you take it, it's going to respawn at level 10, 11. Most likely 11. Which means you're giving him free experience. So that's something we're thinking about. Um, it's, it's always good practice to, to take it because any and all experience is taken. But I think that's something else we're thinking about. I, I, I always would take this. I don't really think about it either, but... He has failed. Yeah, you. this is an edge camp, you know? And if it's spawned at 11, that's... The plus five percent experience best we got in, in March. That's gonna hit this grump. Whereas you have this full side to yourself now. Um, level six, level six, level seven. That needs to be wiped. So I don't feel the need at this point. Like she's going back to base. There's no herald. The dragon isn't spawning just yet. 
It's the perfect time to just leave that. It's level 7. It's trash. Clear our whole red side. We can then reset. And now you can go back down directly bottom lane, contest the crab, kill him, um, etc. And l leave him to wallow in the, in, the, in the sadness that is this level 7 grump. You know, he's going to get there and think, hey, my grump's up. And you're going, well, it's level 7, dude. Well, you know. Next time he comes here, though, he's going to say, wow, level 11. Thanks, Elise. But Flash, Ignite. Oh, Ignite's down. Um, as far as you know, it, Flash is also down. But you know who ult's probably up, so... You've yeah, got no other CC. Yeah, this is just this is force now, and that's that's the thing. You've got a very, you've got a very much so um, be very disciplined about. Okay, let's dial back the spam ganking just a little bit. Let's make sure we're resetting our experience camps, and uh, focusing on the the true win condition, which is dragon, and making sure this dragon doesn't turn on. So yeah, yeah, you're gonna distort your back timing with the cane, but he's so far behind and tilted, he's not even at four or fifty minutes. It's hysterical. I don't think he's focused too much on on this at all. So for me, that's a big point to think about in your mid game. If you feel yourself losing control, like you said, or your team sort of stalls too long, um, we have to look. What are we not doing that allows the game to reach that elevated state? You see, like you, this is all your fault. Like what happens isn't your fault, right? But. The, 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 the events that occur yeah. are because of you forcing it. Ezreal just wants to pew pew, you know? He wants to stack his mirror mana. He, mana moon, sorry. He just wants to stack his mana moon. Chill out. Rest, rest in peace mirror mana. Right, Twitch chat? Um, and, and do his thing. So, you'll get it in a bit. It's just mana moon for now. Yeah. Uh... And yeah, now, now we have to hold the lane, and <laughs> this cane. You, this is not good for you because it gives you false sense of confidence. It, it, <laughs> this cane is. T Jesus Christ! And now, now, now what? Right? Now what? Now what? What do you want to do? You, you're in low HP. The crab is up. Bottom lane is shoved full HP. Drake the is dragon there. is spawning, yeah. and you're doing wolves. So we've completely distorted the map control you had because you took time to kill his level 7 Grump and you went mid lane when it's an Ari and you have an Ezreal. Like, there's no chain CC. There's no ways you kill him. So I feel like this, if you go into your replays and you look at this, like 15, 16 minutes, and you have all the good things happen that you've done, um, maybe you have a bit more farming, right? Um, just in between. Then this is your biggest problem. This mid-game spike here. Because now we're resetting. If anything, just reset immediately, you know? You've got, what, 2k almost? Uh, we would have had 1750, 1800. You don't need to... Okay, we're going for Morello's. BT, Kane is not going Rost. Okay. Okay. The flat pen is good, but we're reaching the... Yeah, okay. They're, they're all squishy. And I feel like you could have just s sat on orb for a bit. You could have just sat on orb and gone into Zonia's or something. Yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think we needed to finish Morello's. I mean, the healing from Draven is not going to be enough to warrant that item pu purchase. Especially because there's a lot of CC on our side, single targets. If you yeah, just yeah, yeah. Off. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, s I see what you're talking about. I see what you're talking about. Like, so this is good. Um, boom. Sucker. Right, nice. Um, great. Kane showed on the top side. Oh, here we go. The famous moment. Thank you for the level 11 Grom. And he's level 10. Yeah, it's just one. Yeah. This is going to be huge. So let's see. What is he at? Oh, you can't see experience level in game? Okay. He takes it. Watch his experience bar. That's a nice... Uh, obviously, the experience gets really big uh, later in the game. But, you know, that should be half of that amount. <laughs> yeah. But because Camille put, put him and said, right, he's a grump, and Draven's dead, this should be straight on dragon, straight on dragon, straight on dragon. Quick, 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 quick. I think I, think I, I just pink this and do it. I think I go for it. You've got, you've got Kane here. Yeah, I think I just do it. I know you want the, the Ari, but no one's concerned about you. You could be doing it right. This is almost done already. Yeah, yeah. Big time. Mid-game decisions. The difference between a lot of um, high plat and, and, and diamond junglers is not always the early game. 
but it very much comes down to if there's no early game difference, there's always a mid game difference. Because a jungler who's good in the early and mid game as a kind of a jungler like an Elise, like an Elise in, will almost will certainly win more most of their games. Yeah, that's that's big for me. That's very big for me. And you gave the shutdown to Kane as well, plus a, a level eleven Grom, so. Kane, thank you for your contribution. He's the new Vokaz. Now there's a dragon sitting up. Yeah. I see what you mean. It's gonna feel like the game is stalling, but do you see that it's it's in it was still within yeah. your control? Yeah, you see now. Huh? And I stalled it as well a bit. Yes. Yes, you stalled it, yeah. You're right. I mean if you just after this, just clear the red side, reset, go get the crab, do the dragon, kill bottom lane, take the tower. Uh, they're gonna reset, you don't need to reset fullback, do Gromp, Wolves, collapse in the mid lane, uh, shove it as a team, take the tower, everyone resets together, Ward, take the Baron, game over. <laughs> it's quick, but that's how simple it is, you know? Yeah. Just by having a good back timing reset spike into direct objective scuttle control, into shutting down that guy, into taking another objective, when your team isn't ready to do anything else, take your camps, when they're ready to do something, rejoin them, take another objective, Reset as a whole team, and now you can collect yourselves around the third dragon, the fourth dragon, the Baron. You have Kabil with a TP split push. Um, the game doesn't stall because you've elevated it to such a high level because of this hammer on desk direct approach. But because we didn't do that, I think the game in the mid game now, the last three minutes, has stalled entirely because of you. With all respect. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm seeing it. <laughs> you know? In, in in game is always a bit different. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. People always tell me, "Ever Kaya, you 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 coach and you do this." It's like yes, but in game I'm a clown. <laughs> like I I make, <laughs> I can get to diamond four, diamond three with my eyes closed and an own jungle or anything, but then beyond that, I I really have to be super engaged. You know, I can't make content when I'm, like every time I'm making content, coaching, streaming, making videos, and I go play a game and try and do like master tier runs and things like this, or play in that elo, I'm just like a clownfish. I need to be like supremely focused on <laughs> on playing and spamming games to like make sure my decision making in game is fluid. Um, but that's 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 part of the skill set of that's part of the skill set of being a good player, right? Um, yeah, of course, being able to make those um, yeah of decisions. When I, I as a coach, I can tell you the five options that you should make, but it's on you in game to identify quickly which one's the best. Um, thank you. Sometimes we see some some weird bees from me, and that, I don't remember if I, I don't know if you remember the um, first time I spoke to you in the stream. I told you I'm in Cold Duel right now. I'm doing some weird stuff because uh, because the setup is not what I'm used to. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And and this e that weird e that that you saw earlier is a bit of that. Is sometimes I. Do a little bit too much weight on this keyboard, and it clicks the the key when I'm not wanting to click it. So it um, does weird stuff. Yeah, so I've thrown spiders out of the bush for no reason. I'm just <laughs> just waiting for the moment. Yeah, uh, getting used to new setups is, is is that's why I've always been very consistent. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I like the the Naga mouse from Razer just because it's big. It's a bigger hand, so it suits my hands. I've got the buttons and my hot keys that I use. Uh, I've just kept it for the reason I at one point I switched from this to to like a more FPS mouse and I was just I was swinging left and right and missing skill shots or the sensitivity's too low yeah it can affect you um but that's why it's good to actually get games in on normals or even or yeah. something like this again you got to save this e but you die anyway I think is not yeah I just I just die as soon as you get yeah it. but again like why why are we here what's the objective like we're forcing the tower there's no wave um Ezreal's dead our bottom lane is bottom lane Brahma's dead and we've got a wave crashing into us here. There's no objective to fight over. We could this just be clearing our jungle. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this tower's dead. You know, there's no reason to put ourselves in this in this dangerous situation. And I think that that's something very important that, that we need to recognize. Like, as soon as the Lucian, right, you see this. So it starts here, right? So we see a fight. Um, your E disappears into the abyss. Draven kills, we kill the Draven. Lucian helps us push the wave. Um, and now, in theory, he should stick around and help you shove this, right? But as soon as he doesn't, I think you got to be very cautious. Yep. You really do melt this. Like, as soon as you see this from Kane, and you'll see it in-game, right? You'll see the, the orb on the other side of the wall that shows up. You just start walking down. 
Like, if no one shows up, free tower, right? Hooray. Congratulations, me. But as soon as you see the Kane's orb, you gotta ditch. Because he, he's, he's Shadow Assassin now. He will start to outscale you even down two levels, yeah. I mean, you you kill him if you hit the cocoon, but... Yeah, I feel like that's it's an obvious thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, let's see. What are the notable events? So, okay, so the 100% so the last five minutes are stalled as a byproduct of our actions. Um, currently, there's a whole bunch of downtime. Um, so you have farmed a little bit. But we're still A-ramming. Yeah, I see. Okay, so the stall. Yeah. Yeah, I see the stall. I see the stall. I mean, Ezreal's... Stops for a while. Go ahead. I was saying the game stops for a while. Yeah. I, I literally feel like it stops. Draven's just farming mid, everyone's just standing around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, go, go do your red and Krugs. Um, he's taking it, yeah. Just go take your Krugs. The dragon's up, so you can't do that now. Like, there's too much sitting in the mid worrying about the waves. Whereas you could be shadowing the mid lane with your scanner and getting at least those inner camps. It's dangerous to go edge camp at the moment. But this is what they want, right? However, the thing is for me, this dragon is coming up, but it should have come up maybe 90 seconds sooner. And that's something that's also worth thinking about, right? When you miss the dragon take earlier and you went mid lane and died, now that should be the dragon. It took another 60 seconds for Lucian to take it. So the next dragon after that is again a minute, 90 seconds delayed. And that causes the game to feel like it's stalling as well, because you have total objective control, but... Every time you miss the opportunity to melt a dragon and take it quickly for your soul win condition, um, it isn't possible because we stalled. We died. We got pushed off. And even though they didn't get a dragon, at 23 minutes, we should be looking at, at, at getting a soul pretty soon, you know? But instead, we're looking for a third dragon. Um, and so that's also part of the, the factor. Because your goal, ultimately, is to get that soul ASAP. You see why I said the Zanyas was a good idea? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got stopwatch here too, but I feel like, you know, you could have had... Th think about it, you could have had like a, a stopwatch play earlier and not died. And now you'd have the Zanyas available already again. Because you would have purchased it. But this risk, you gotta, you gotta weigh the risks here, right? Top, bottom, and it sucks. But... What did you hit? You hit it on the Nautilus? I don't even know. No, yeah, I think it went hot. You got. Do you have time to? Do you have? You don't even have time to to, to, to stopwatch. No, I don't have time. He's just gonna. Okay, good. But both jungles are dead. Yeah, I think I think Orb into Tazania's would have been fine. Um, and then of course you can just go into Leandri's and Void. Because. I mean, I, I mean, I I like Leandries in general as well. So. No, no, no. I mean, I like I like Leandries. I usually do Leandries, but I don't go Void. But mostly ah. because because in states of the games that I that I usually get and teams, usually the proactive one who tries to to catch someone out, go in, start the team fight because we can. But yeah, there's really no one else. Was trying it, so so I tend to go a bit more tanky towards like a uh, spirit visage. Uh, okay. Uh, something. Tank. Well, and I don't think you need to. Go. You could look. I mean, if you're gonna do that, you could look at abyssal mask or something, right? Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna go that route, I don't think you necessarily should because I, I think you should play the game, with the intent of winning. I always so, pause on Zanias. I'm sorry, Twitch chat. I always pause and stop watching Zanias and the sound just per persists for 10 minutes as I'm going on a rant. There we go. Um, yeah, you see, the thing is, even if they're all squishy and people don't get this, if you go percentage pen void stuff, it's like true damage to a squishy. So if you're hitting a cocoon on a crucial target, they're dead. If you hit your cocoon, they're dead. They don't live. Because it's just disgusting. With with the Andres, with, with, with Void, um... Uh, if you sell the orb and go death cap, you know, sell the orb and go maybe something a bit more, like Banshee's Veil or something as necessary. Which actually could be not bad in this game, right? Because I don't really need much of heal cancellation. I don't really need the Morellos. I mean, I mean, I guess, I don't know, like what, BT? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah but mean, if, if like, like you're saying, if I'm if I'm gonna pull them up, then there's no point of canceling canceling heal because they're gonna be stunned by the time they die. Yeah, with with void stuff, Landry's all plus um and and your sork shoes. If you hit your full combo on them, you do like three thousand damage, and okay, they have two thousand health. So if they heal back a thousand, who cares? They're dead, you know. Exactly. It's overkill. Yeah. So your team did a good job earlier. So you you did mess up. Uh, not mess up, but it was just unfortunate. You died. You got focused. Um, but you killed the cane. And your team got the dragon. So we're actually pretty good right now. But there's a lot of this for me. Yeah, I, I feel like that that whole five minute segment we focused on was your opportunity to be to be hyper fed. But you've got basically at this point you're just the assassin CC bot. You know, you hit E, someone dies. You can still kill Kane. Kane's hysterical. 6 10 1, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is good. I like this. We gotta be careful, though. Because of this. Like, I like your decision to go 1 3 1. Um, because no one can really 1 3 1 with a blue Kane out of these guys, but you can because you can kill him. But at the same time, with him dead, I feel like even though this is the good move, we should still at least be helping them a bit more because the next objective is of course a Baron threat plus a soul swap, so... You are correct going bot lane. I think I think I actually felt what you're saying. Yes. I, I think I remember at some point looking at it and thinking, shit, I should be there. Yeah. Uh, but the time I did that was already too late, so I just went back to it. Yeah. I, yeah, it exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the worst thing. It's the absolute worst thing, which is why I sort of tell people, okay, so you're, you're the macro decision you made, very good if your teammates are thinking like you. Yeah, but exactly. But are they? You know? That's fine. They won't, really. I mean, I think, I think at this point, you know, you can trade this one for one, it's fine, but you're going to lose in him. And if Kane interrupts your back, then you're kind of in trouble. Boom, easy. Jax, they're going to triple collapse on you or go for Baron. Oh, they reset, okay. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. Should be free. I would still turn, but it should be free. Very good. That's good. That's good. All you gotta do is make sure your carries stay alive. Use your cocoon for, for good. Not greed. The cane is just absolutely... Jesus Christ. <laughs> getting, getting, a head who else is getting a headache from watching this cane? <laughs> Holy moly! All right, yeah, I just shove mid. Okay, so it, it seems like you have total control here. Should be an inhib as well. Uh, we should go straight for the soul. Okay, we didn't get it, but it's fine. Reset, good. Now we have uh, Camille on the top side. Uh, what did we? What did you go for? Benchysville, good. Good, good, good. I think it's huge versus Ari and uh, Nautilus. Cool, yeah. I, I don't think you have a choice. We don't want to fight. 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 <laughs> no. No, no. We want to be patient here. And this is where you, as the leader of the team, need to spam ping them off. Yeah, th I, think, I think that's one of the biggest problems I have. This is where the point where I start getting like, patient. Uh, like, Self. Yeah, like Lana Rhodes is in base, looking in the mirror, so, you know, you've got... <laughs> couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself Twitch chat. Um, but, you know, you got to say, right, I just want the crab to push bottom lane, because this is gonna, this is gonna shove, and you've got Camille with Baron. Camille, where are you, Baron? Okay, so she doesn't have Baron, but she's at least got push. So, lol. Well, um, you know, wait for mid. Push bottom lane, be very, very turbo patient, wait for this mother this guy to show up for you. <laughs> this mother fudger to show up for you. Good. Push bottom lane, wait for mid to push. I'm curious to see what happens here, let's see. So she should know to disengage, but once this happens, you should giga push for inhib. No! <laughs> no. Woo, no. No, no, okay, okay, so that's twice. So here you go, you, you, you restrained yourself. You're like, I'm gonna fight, okay, wait, we shouldn't. So that was good. Here you said, I go all in, Thanos try, you know, like, uh, no. 
I missed this one. <laughs> no, yeah, well, at this point in this game, I wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> hey, you, you know, if you have better games, it's fine. But yeah, this is what we want to avoid. We just want to focus in him and detach. We don't want to give them the shutdowns. We don't want to give them two super waves to farm up and scale. Oh, no. Welcome to the late game. At least gameplay, where you are screwed no matter what. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 No, this is all. This is just all. Just from, from here. From here is just downhill. Yeah. No, that's it. That's the game. Like, I, I, I'm honestly internally demoralized in these kind of games. It happens so much, but at least I'm playing, like volley or Orn, and yeah, it's it's not you know the best. They're not the best junglers, but at least I have team fight presence and control. Like I, the one thing I'm good at. Uh, is team fighting very, very well, being a good frontliner. So I don't mind these games. I just get very, very stressed from them. <laughs> In your case, you're playing at least single target early game, mid game uh, jungler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, start, I start getting, uh, I need to this now because yes. it's going to go bad. Uh, yeah. And so, I think that's what I'm thinking when I flash into this Draven. Yeah. Is if I kill this guy, I'm over for them. Yeah, you win. Don't, over for me. <laughs> if you hit the E, you would have killed them, but I don't, like, I, if you're having a game where you've hit like 12 out of 12 E's and, and you're just on a rhythm and you're like, yes, I'm so good on this champion. Yeah, yeah, go for it because you're in the zone. You very much know straight up here, I'm missing all my E's. And I think it's good to go for the win here, but you have to understand, again, it's another high variance play. Just like everything you did this game was, was high variance. If it works out, if it doesn't, eh. So, because you flashed Cocoon this, you slow down the take on the on the tower. You could have just W'd the tower, it would have been down. This inhib would be closer to dead already. You know, that's a small thing, right? It's a very, very small thing. But if you were focusing the tower and focusing on doubling the inhib, right? The inhib is dead. At this point, the inhib is dead. Would you agree? It should be. If you were the one focusing tower as well. Leave. You have no Camille. And now you can ping them off spam, ping them to leave. But because it takes a bit longer, it gives time for the stupid people on your team to do stupid things. And that's the big thing. We're trying to put in a situation where our team, which is basically a bunch of hamsters in a maze, only sees one path. And every time we do anything that leads them to see all the paths, more likely it is that they take a stupid one. And by flashing in or by, by, you know, by putting it in such a situation that takes longer to, to, to take the inhib, they're now wandering around with nothing to do. As long as they have something to do and a clear focus for them as a team, you can direct them just through behavior. Obviously, it's, you know, not always going to happen that way, but... Like, <laughs> eat into the chump. But can you imagine if this was like two seconds sooner and everyone's detached? Maybe he doesn't do it, you know? Yeah. Especially because the inhibitor would be dead before they even got there, it, uh, so there's, it, no, it, there's yeah. no drive to fight. Yeah, and of course, that's a lot of hippy dippy coaching, hindsight, third person, you know, what if, what if isms. But uh, you have to look at it, it that way, right? Because you kind of end up having to mind control everyone by yeah. doing the right thing. Yes. And, and what, I'm, what you're saying here is they had two guys on the top lane, one guy in the mid lane clearing waves. So by the time we finished inhibitor, there would be no, no cookie to take for, for my team. So they just get off when I get off. Yeah, As I, I, opposed to me being there when they get there. Yes. So there's not now they don't see me now they just see enemy team. Let's go. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's leading through behavior, leading through intentions, and it's it's so subtle, but it really makes a big difference. So for me, you guys should shove out mid as hard as you can, and then but then you should have hundred percent be shoving out top lane. You currently have two supers pushing this, so the one pressure point you have is that you can really turbo shove top lane into the tower. Um, and if they focus on this too much, you get a third inhib. If they leave it and rotate to try and, to try and defend, it gives your mid and bottom waves time to collapse, which lets you fall back to the dragon in a much easier way than, than all being ARAM. And if you do that now, you get the Baron. Um, you'd have this wave be like here. So that gives you more opportunities after the Baron. Um, I'm still failing to see how you lose despite all that. Yeah, it's, um, Push this. 
Um, but there's an Elder Dragon, dude. There's an Elder Dragon. There's an Elder Dragon. But the Elder Dragon. Am I correct in, in this? You're correct, yeah. <laughs> 1300 gold, 1300. Hey, you've got lead gold. Um, 1261, 1536, 1513. You guys have collective enough gold that effectively you guys don't even have the gold lead right now. You see that? They have spent more gold than you have spent. And you are going for Thorn Mail. Why are you going for Thorn Mail? You have... Because of the Draven. Yeah, but you've got Morellas. I mean, I know you know. I know they're different passives, but... Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. It was just the armor. Because I wasn't even being able to... Then I would just go Randuin's. Because it slows their attack speed and reduces crit damage. You've already got Morellas for anti-healing. So you might as well just go Randuin's if you're going to go full tank. Because it would actually affect everyone in the game. It would affect Kane's auto attack, even though he doesn't really use it. But it would 100% slow the, the attack speed of Jax when he's on you, as well as the Draven, and you get to um, have the active. Like, if anything, I'm looking to take the tower and reset. I'm not looking to inhib this. Because what you want... This is you again. Let, let, let her... Oh, okay. You just should have stayed with the team, I think. I let her do this, but... Yeah, you went to the Camille. And once you go to the Camille, it's very easy. You got a 3 and a 2, so they could just 4v2 you. And um, then rotate up here. Yep, and that gives them the Elder, and they went from there, right? I think so, yeah. <sighs> just go straight for it. Yeah, you got, now they got... Two more waves of supers plus plus Elder Dragon, yeah. 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 That sucks. That sucks. Yeah. I'm I'm with you, that's horrible, but um while they destroy you and completely demoralize you, uh just be careful in that early game that we're sequencing correctly, um, to make sure your experience doesn't get too depleted versus the enemy jungler. Um, if you're gonna be doing high variance gank plays that work out well, uh, that's great. But make sure that 13 to 17 minute mark, you aren't the reason the game stalls. Um, dragons, heralds, clearing your camps during downtime, resetting, taking towers, all must be on your mind. And when it comes to late game, make sure you're not inviting fights with your positioning and your engages. That forces your team to follow up. Because when you do that, you end up in these situations. And I think if you fix those little things, you got a nice package. I saw I saw a lot of good things. And if you, of course, hit your cocoons. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you hit your cocoons, that, that, that always... Nice. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Those, those always help a lot. 